Welcome back again. My name is Michael and I'm glad to present you the new feature in Dialux Evo 4, the daylight calculation. To explain the functions of daylight calculation within Dialux, I would like to use this pavilion project. We have to ask ourselves which are the informations we'll be needing first. Well, probably you've been noticing at the beginning that you have the possibility to insert a place on our planet. You can either select one of these places or you insert the value of longitudinal and latitudinal position. This project is situated on the beach on the south of Hong Kong. And the north alignment is about 20 degrees towards the right. So we may insert the values. We can select Hong Kong and make use of these values. And we could insert a north alignment by 20 degrees. If we want to insert a more exact position, we can do it here. 22.2 and 109.8. Then this is the direction versus north. So let's have a look at the floor plan. Here you can find the north arrow, but I could also draw another one. When I'm drawing another one, the original one is going to be substituted automatically and the north alignment created by my arrow takes the position here. But this one can also be overwritten. Now that the geographical position is defined, let's have a look at the light scenes themselves. You'll be finding now, beginning with Dialux Evo 4, the option of daylight control in this place. Daylight can be understood like a luminaire group of itself. As a default, there is no daylight, a night scene like it was all the time before Dialux Evo 4. You have the choice between three different types of sky, like they're defined by the CIE standards. You've got an overcast sky, an average sky and a clear sky. And only with a clear sky you have the option of direct sunlight. If you use direct sunlight, then you'll see a very precise shadow. Otherwise, the shadows will be more softened. Now, we're in the interior of the calculated scene. This is the way it looks with no artificial lights in the interior, but with a clear sky and direct sunlight. These sliders can still be used to make the artificial light visible. Here you have to confirm the changes you're making. Now we have switched on the artificial light and you can see the difference very well if you're looking at the table. And the daylight, to be seen here very well, is still there, still present. How far into the room you can see the effect of the daylight. I want to show you also some other examples where you can see the difference between the different types of sky. In this example, we have several light scenes with artificial light and different types of sky and different daytimes and different times within the year. At this moment we have an August afternoon with an overcast sky and please have a look at this place here. The floor and you can see at the bottom right that we have about 870 lux. Now changing to a different kind of sky with no direct sunlight but with the clear sky, same time, same place. And you see how much stronger the light is. And we have about four and a half thousand lux. Now for the final version, let's have a look at the direct light casting shadows in these places. And we have about 46,000 lux in this place. Direct sunlight on the floor. You can very well see the difference and even the reflection of sunlight which is visualized here because it is reflected from the glass tables here. I hope this was enough of explanation for Dialux Evo 4's light scene with sunlight now and I wish you'd be enjoying these like I did when I was preparing the work here.